What's more important for psychological well-being? Valuing yourself or believing in your own ability to take powerful action and get good results in the world? It turns out that despite what you might have heard about having high levels of self-esteem being really important, that having high levels of self-agency could be even more important, especially in organizations. Self-agency is an empowering psychological state. It's driven by the belief that your actions can reap positive results. Meet Jared and Amir. They're both pilots who lost their jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Six months after being made redundant, Jared is still unemployed. He's feeling stuck, depressed, lonely and helpless. Amir, on the other hand, has high levels of self-agency. He's setting up a consulting business. It's not in a field he's worked in before, but he's confident that he can succeed. He's combining willpower with way power. This combination is very important for self-agency. You can think of willpower as being your self-discipline, your ability to keep on moving towards your goal even when you meet challenges. But the under-recognized component of way power is also very important. It's your ability to think of different pathways to success so that you have multiple ways of getting to the results that you want to get. And it turns out when we combine willpower with this ability to think of different pathways, we become extremely skilled in tapping into our increased sense of self-agency. Let's look at how Amir does this. He uses three core thinking patterns, which Martin Seligman says are responsible for increasing self-agency. The first pattern is self-efficacy. This is your belief in your ability to get powerful results from your action. The second thinking pattern is optimism. Optimistic thinking patterns help Amir to set goals and to work towards achieving them. And finally, Amir is using his imagination. He's being creative about the options that are available to him and he's being hopeful about what the possibilities for the future might be. In the past, psychologists used to believe that self-efficacy and optimism and creativity were personality traits. But it turns out that they're actually thinking patterns. And that's good news for people like Jared and for organizational development consultants. If you'd like to find out more about how to do this, enroll in one of my masterclasses for facilitators. Or you can get started right now by downloading my free ebook the Positive Psychology Toolkit for HR and L&D Practitioners.